Hey everybody, this is Kyle, aka Marana Cow, and welcome to the This Xbox Life Achievement Hounds podcast, episode numero uno. Like I said, I'm Kyle, aka Marana Cow, and I've got two good buddies with me, Eric, aka Elite E Dog 420. Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? And I've got Franco, aka Ravioli Capone. You can call me Rav. Rav. All yeah, right. for you non for you non Italians, call me Rav. It's too hard to say. <laughs> Franco is a great name, though. Yeah. Um, you guys, uh, if you listen to this Xbox Live, you might know who I am, and you're probably rolling your eyes right now that I'm sp- spun up another podcast. So you'll have to live with it. Um, but we are basically in addition to this Xbox Live, completely new show, completely new people, except brand for- new. Brand spanking new. And yeah. uh, as the name suggests, we're all about achievements. We've all hounds, got... Yeah, go, achievements, go not not hounds, just achievements. Yeah. We're just achievement hounds. Yeah, we don't really care about dogs all that much. Not a well, dog show. Hey, uh, now, I got, a, I got a hound. I just bought it. And he's uh, our on the dashboard. <laughs> but, it, but it's a virtual one. Yep. I don't know if that counts or not. Hey, he's sniffing out all my nice DLC... All my cheap arcade games. Oh, I'm sure he's That's sniffing out those, uh, <laughs> those wonderful Darkest of Days achievements. Give me that chime for, for 240 points. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're all about achievements. We've all got over 100,000 gamer score. And I'm going to have to find new hosts, though, because I'm last on the uh, achievement list for uh, most achievements. So yeah, You're going to have to pick it up. Yeah, man. I, I, I've got Saw right now, so I'm... I'm using that, but it can only get me so far. Yep. So yeah, don't uh, you guys? Don't you both guys? Don't you have like goals set uh, to beat my uh, to beat my gamer score yeah, by the end of the year? And I'm I'm taking that serious. I'm totally out to get you. You better keep you better keep going, or else I'm gonna catch you. Well, okay. Rav, you told me that I was gonna beat your gamer score by the end of the summer, but dude, that's thirteen thousand points. And while you're gaining on me, or you know, gaining away from me, putting on points. I don't know if that's gonna happen, man. I hope. Yeah, I just but... I just crossed over 120,000 uh, yesterday, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Which which is good. I mean, we I mean that's it's not bad. We've know people with massive oh. Oh, gamers yeah. for three four times as much as we do. I mean, our egos are big, but they're they're not that big. Yeah. Well, we're let just, me let me point good. out. You know let me point out another milestone you hit the other day was 170,000 on true achievements. Quite the quite the feat as well. Oh, yeah. Those hard achievements, man. Those ratios really bring them up. Oh, yeah. So. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, True Achievements, if, if you guys haven't checked it out and you're wondering, well, what's what's True Achievements? It's uh, basically a user-driven site um, giving guides for achievements and and, uh, and games uh, with reviews and stuff like that. But the biggest thing is is... It uh, assigns based on how many people have played and how many people have got the achievement, signs like values to it or ratios, and uh, kind of scans your whole gamer card and gives you kind of your true achievement score on how hard the uh, how hard games you play. So yeah, what is your high, what is your uh, best achievement on that on that site, anyways? Oh, it's it's totally veteran from uh, Kane and Lynch. Uh, it's that I think it was. I gotta look up exactly what that achievement was. I think it's played 200 matches. Uh, let me, let me check real quick. Yeah, it's 6.35 veteran from Kane and Lynch. And it, the achievement, this will load. Of course. Uh, yep, complete 200 fragile alliance sessions. And it's, uh, only unlocked by 378 people. Wow. 2%. Well, and what it's saying on mine is my best achievement is called Curse of the Developer. It's on a game called Kingdom Under Fire, where you have to level every character up to level 80. I believe there's six characters. And uh really, that achievement wasn't all that hard. It was uh, a lot of just boosting on a really hard difficulty. And then you'd level up like you'd kill one enemy, and you'd level up like 20 levels off that one enemy. There's a trick to it, but... If you know the right people, you can level up real quick in that game. I've helped I've helped uh, two people get a thousand on that game. 
I just got my highest ratio. Uh, actually, Moronic, you helped me with it. The uh, Tom Clancy's uh, Sitting Ducks achievement. Right. Yeah, it's boostable, but according to True Achievements, only 2.12% of everybody that's played the game have gotten that achievement. That's pretty so, low. Yeah, considering that you can boost it, you know. And, and considering, I, I would assume that most people that join True Achievements are at least into achievements, so you'd think they'd you know, try to get that. That's, well, that's Here, I got another one from Blur. It just came out a few weeks ago, so it's fairly new. But uh, 91 tracked gamers have somebody stop me earn every primary light on hard difficulty. And I got that one. Not only did I get that one, but I was the 22nd person on the website to 1K blur. So, Very nice. Yeah. And as more and more people get the game, that the, it'll probably drop. Yeah, right now way. it went down 36 points over the last 14 days. So it's still dropping. Right. But... But Kyle, what else are you playing? What have you been playing this week? Well, uh, I got in Saw, and that's been my achievement game of the week pretty much for myself. Uh, I've been playing that, and uh, it is frustrating uh, at times. Uh, try like I encountered if you if you guys have played it, I encountered one of those big guys. Yeah, the fat people. <laughs> yeah, the fat guys, and. I don't know. It took me a while to like. I had to run away from him, and I had to like lock the doors. And then... yeah, it'd be that hard to run away from a fat guy. Well, well in the fighting, fast. The fighting in that game when you attack is really slow. So. Yeah, it's a fast wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. There's a fat cart from Walmart. Case. <laughs> <laughs> One of those motorized ones that make really loud noises when you back up. <laughs> you think you'll get 1K on that game? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will uh, eventually. It's I, I would I would like to have it done. Uh, by today, but that didn't happen. I had to stay, or I stayed late at work, and then yesterday, I just collapsed. Didn't play pretty, I played like 20 minutes of it yesterday, but, uh. Is it anything like the movie? I've never seen the movie, but would I enjoy this game if I've never seen the movie? I've never seen any movie either. I've, I've never really wanted to. Um, Elite, yeah, Elite Dog, have seen them? Yeah, I've seen the movies, and it's basically exactly like the movies. I think that if you haven't seen the movies, it's going to be better playing the game. Do you get achievements after the movie's over? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so the game's probably better. <laughs> yeah. The uh, yeah, I mean, it's it it unlocks some achievements pretty quickly, and like the the hardest one I would say in that game is probably like uh, curb stop five people. But you can just reload checkpoints until you did it. Do it. That's what I did. Um, and yeah. then everything else is just story based. Kill, you know, kill one enemy with each weapon. You know, that's that's the easy. good part about that game is it's not like kill twenty people with one en- one weapon. Right. It's just kill one enemy with the weapon. So every time you find a new weapon, you hold on to it until you kill somebody with it, and then you can ditch it and grab a new one. And it's it's pretty much like a copy of Bioshock, and then a random like you know with a saw based deal. It has uh has like health hypos, and like the uh, like lock picking, and uh, there's like pipes to funnel out the gas or whatever that you have to do. And those are little mini games. There's a circuit mini game. If you remember, uh, Rav, you played Secret Service. Remember the circuits in that game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly the same. They're they're way too easy though in this game. Really, I, I have no problem with the circuits. Have you done so, a Have you done the seven by seven one? Yeah, yeah, I did one. I, I did one, and, and that one was pretty easy. Were you timed uh, on it? Uh, I think it was. Uh, I, I'm only on case four right, out of so, the seven. So yeah, I'm, when you get farther in, let me know how those how those power boxes go. <laughs> oh, if you haven't played Secret Service, then there's no way that you can pass any judgment on the circuits in Saw because I, I mean I haven't gotten to them yet, so they could be ridiculous. Well, they're frustrating just because you're timed. You know, you got three minutes right. to do like four of them. And right. Well, Secret Service is you got about thirty seconds, and there's like bad nodes on them. Uh, so if you if you hook up one to the electricity and it's a bad node, it will blow up the bomb anyways. Uh, so that's frustrating. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's it's practically like Secret Service and Bioshock like put together. So if you played both of those games, you should be all right with the puzzles. Uh, there is this website. I think it's uh, swear at videogames.com or swearing at videogames.com. They have a guide with YouTube videos. Um, so that 
that definitely helps just to take, you know, they just took a picture of the end, like for the pipes and stuff. So I'm, you know, matching those up as I go. So that's, that's not too bad. Um, so I hope to have that one done, uh, either tomorrow or Saturday. And then, uh, I got Naughty Bear in and Elite Dog, you said you were interested. Yeah. Uh, Rav, are you interested in Naughty Bear? Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, I don't really know either. I, I just heard a lot of people talking about it, saying that it should be good, and a lot of people were excited for it. Uh, and I took out the achievements, man, and they they don't look good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's, like, uh, an achievement for getting a platinum medal on every mission, and that doesn't look fun. Um, I took a look at 360A to see what, like, what... Uh, the leaderboard was for achievements and and there was one guy with like 910 points and then the second place person was had 300 mm-hmm. so i don't know unless well like, it, it just came out on tuesday crazy. so yeah, yeah I mean, it just came out uh the show might not be posted exactly when we want it to be so tuesday would be uh the 29th yeah yeah so of june um so I've got that game. It's sitting there, but uh, I would like to finish Saw first because I'm more than halfway done with Saw. So that's kind of where I'm at there. Um, I'm playing Pro Evo 2007, which is basically a game that talk about procrastinating on. I, uh, gosh, I put this down for probably three to four months after I got the online achievements, and now I'm, you know, just want a thousand it out, get it on my hair, so I never have to play it again. Um, and then once I beat that, I've got the latest version of Pro Evo, uh, sitting still wrapped that I used a Best Buy coupon on to buy. So, other than that, uh, I didn't play, I, I beat Alan Wake, but that was not this week. And, uh, I haven't really played any more Red Dead co-op, which we'll talk about later. And that's it for me. Yeah, I did some of that Red Dead co-op. I did it, I started playing the day it came out. Um, you know, the regular missions are not bad. I mean, you know, it's pretty easy, but I know we'll talk about the achievements on it a little bit later. That's our main topic, but I've been doing that. I downloaded, uh, I bought a Panzer General Allied Assault, and uh, actually I like these type of game. It's a turn-based game. You get, you know, uh, you got your your units, and you got cards, and it's on a board, and the only achievement that looks like it might take a while on there is to win 50 games online. And, uh, that, you know, like, I'll probably play half of those legit and then maybe boost what I, the rest, but, uh, the game seems like it's very doable 200 easy. Um, also Hot Wheels beat that. The game came out in 2007. I bought it a long time ago and I played it and it got really bored, put it away. I picked it up again, played some more, got bored and now I'm on my, I got my third wind and, um, finally I got one achievement left. I beat the game yesterday. Got one achievement left. I got to go through and keep playing some of the racetracks and get these goals. So I have enough goals, uh, to get this last achievement to 1k that. Um, and the other game I took off the shelf, I had to blow the dust off was the Incredible Hulk, uh, based off the movie. Um, I love being the Hulk. Kind of reminds me of real life where how, how I walk around the city <laughs> and stuff. So <laughs> I got that and. Dude, it is so fun. If you just love destroying buildings and killing, uh, you know, smashing cars and just throwing, I mean, it is, I mean, it's, it has the greatest move is you take a car and he splits it in half and he makes these like boxing gloves out of them. Mm. And, uh, I've been working on, I beat it a long time ago and I got, I think I had about 750 points out of the, out of the 1000 and, uh, picked it up again just a couple of days ago. Um, Replayed some of the commissions and I cleaned up about three more achievements and now I'm in the process of collecting a total of 200 canisters around the city, which I don't know if, uh, in my experience with collectibles like that, I always get to the last one and check it off my little map and then you have like one more left and you don't know which one it is. Pigeons and I am, and GTA, yes. Yes, I mm. am dreading. I am dreading that. So I hope it doesn't happen. I hope. Because if not, the Incredible Hulk will come out of me, and you'll that game will be cracked in half. So well, yeah. but isn't it isn't it also like the greatest achievement ever when y- you collect the last collectible that you thought you got, and it, the achievement actually pops? 
you know, because you're always yeah. thinking that uh, I missed one or something glitched on me and I've got to do this all again. And then when it actually what, pops, it's great. It's that sigh of worse, relief, you worse, know. Yeah, what's worse is you get your 99th one and you, you all of a sudden your friend goes online and it pops up and you think you got the 100th. You're like, <laughs> yes! You're like, oh, I hate that guy. Yeah. That's all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. When your friend's list is full like mine, it happens quite frank, uh, quite frequently. Yeah, so. but that's about it. I've been, uh, all, you know, summertime, kind of busy outside, but yeah, that's what I've been playing. Nice. Trying to clean up some achievements. Yeah, you know, the Incredible Hulk, I, that's one of my bad marks on my profile. I tried picking it up a while back and I had complications, so I still haven't got it, but I got a whopping 10 points in that game. Ooh, that's, I hate that, because you, you can't erase it off your, your games list. Yeah. If you had zero on there, you can take it out. Like I got like big bump, big bumping from Burger King with a zero, and I'm like, uh, take it off. But yeah. man, you get like that ten points on a game, and I don't know what about you guys, but I'm on a kick right now where, um, you know how True Achievements they track your percentage of completed games. You know they take yeah. every game you have, how how of the all the achievements, how percent. And I'm at a sixty eight percent, and I'm at my goal is to hit seventy. So a game nice. like that, where you get ten achievement points. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it really hurts it. And I'm always, oh, I gotta, I keep thinking, I gotta go back and get, get it, you know. So I was like, I'm gonna try to go back to all my old games and start bumping it up. Cause my goal is to get 70% completion, you know, which for me, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm oh, at, well, yeah. I'm at a 63% right now, so I'm kind of right behind you. I'm at a 59, <laughs> like 30.30 or something like that. So yeah, it I'm takes trying to get that up as well. Yeah. It takes, oh, it, it, you do, it doesn't go up as fast as you think it does. Uh, especially when you play, you, when you played like 150 games. I think I'm up to like almost 200. So yeah. It yeah. It takes a long time. Yeah. So but, that's, that's, it's yeah. kind of a good goal for me. So cool. So what I've been playing this week, like I say, I've been out to get Ravioli Capone's gamer score, so I've been banging out the easy 1000s. Um, I started off, I was playing not really an easy 1000, but I picked up this game called Divinity 2 Ego Draconis for 17.99 at the GameStop. And it's an open world RPG. If you like, if you like Oblivion and you like Sacred 2, it's by the same makers as Sacred 2. So if you like that game, you'll really like this game. Only on this game you can turn into a dragon, but that happens about halfway through the game. So I was playing that for a really long time, hours on end. I ended up 1Kng that game in four days. Most of the achievements were just uh, story-based and side missions and stuff like that. There are some secret achievements on there that you would never guess to go out and get if you didn't know what the secret achievements are. So they are missable. If you uh if you're gonna play that game, make sure that you know what the all the secret achievements are before you before you get started. And there's also one achievement on there, it's called You're Gonna Die, Charlie. It's worth one point. And I don't believe previous of this achievement I've ever gotten a one point achievement before. And I was determined that after after I got that one point, it's gonna throw my gamer score to where it's not divisible by five, you know, it's not even. So uh, I was determined after I got that one point achievement that I was going to make it all the way through because if you finish the game, you get finish the game 99 points. So in order to round back out my gamer score, I had to buckle down and finish it, which I did. It was a cool game. And uh, after that, I played Saw, and I... 1K that game in about a night in a morning. It didn't take me near as long as it's taken Marana Cow. Hey, now I'm taking my time. I'm enjoying. <laughs> I'm enjoying the game. Yeah. And uh, also, I went on a arcade shopping spree the other day, and I picked up all the Sonic games when they went on sale. I also picked up a few other games that I haven't played yet, so we won't go there. But as far as the Sonic games go, I started on Sonic 3. And the achievements seem fairly straightforward. Just basically beat the game and get some Chaos Emeralds, and that's really all there is to it. I think there's an achievement on there where you got to like beat the game in less than an hour or something like that. But the bright side about playing all these old Sonic games instead of playing them on the Sega is you can save after every mission. So you run through a mission, and if you didn't do it quick enough, then you can reload and run through it again and then if you beat it in a quick enough time you can save it and keep going so 
by the time you get to the end, you should have only spent an hour playing the game. And uh I played Sonic 3 and I played Sonic 2. I got I got like halfway through Sonic 2 and I forgot to save the entire time and I ended up dying and now I'd have to restart the entire game so I'm going to wait a little bit on that one but it does say that it's co-op and there is an online co-op but it's a versus co-op so you can't play you can't play together with a buddy it's like you're racing them throughout the level so just a little heads up on that and uh after that I picked up this game old game called WWE Legends of WrestleMania and I'm not a big sports fan. I'm I don't like the boxing games or the Is that really games. a sport? Okay, I guess if you want to isn't it, if you want to go that, that fake and you, you know, mean, you're, not, you're not into acting games. <laughs> well, and you know I was telling my friend I'm like, you know, watching wrestling on TV kind of it's not very cool because you can tell that it's fake and everything. On this game, you're actually hitting the people and they're actually bleeding. You know, the blood is going all over the ring and everything. So it looks kind of real. It, it was pretty fun. You can, uh, adjust, sure. you can adjust yeah. the sliders so that you can make it really easy so that you can breeze through the game and everything. And so now I've, de- I've decided that the only sports games that I like is the sports games that I can crank down on hardcore easy and just straight dominate as long as I'm dominating. Yeah, <laughs> as long as I'm dominating, I'm having a good time. <laughs> and uh that game was really easy, the 1K. I believe there's only 19 achievements, and they all don't take much time at all. Um, huh. I'd say, that. yeah, both of you guys, I recommend you should all get it. Um, it took. Are me, you really recommend it to me? Because you know you're trying to catch up with me. So. Well, yeah, maybe not you. You know, maybe Kyle. Kyle needs the points, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> I'd say like four hours and that game is one K. Like no wow. problem, yeah. Putting it on my game fly right now. Sounds like a great game. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds and, like you uh, should go and buy it. The next game that I I just started playing this great game. It's called uh Darkest of Days. <laughs> Second best uh, game ever. <laughs> don't remind me that about that game. And uh <laughs> It seems pretty straightforward, you know. I was trying to punch that horse in the beginning of the game to get that horse. By the way, that is the coolest achievement name ever. (laughs) Horse puncher. I died died a couple times. I just ran into the middle of the stampede, and I was just swinging my arms trying to hit the horses and stuff. But um, cranked it down. Yeah, it's kind of specific on what you have to do, and there's a certain level they recommend doing it. Well, the very first level, I would start and everything. Yeah. And there was one, too, you had to drown yourself in a pool. Yeah, I haven't done that one yet, but I, there's an achievement for blowing yourself up with a grenade, so 25 <laughs> points for killing yourself. That's not bad. Yeah, they had some weird achievements in there. Um, there's only 13 achievements in the game. I'm about halfway through right now. I've only played it for uh, maybe about four hours, so I'm thinking like seven hours I should have that game 1K'd and back to Gamefly, so I never have to look at it again. Um And in between, in between all of these games that I've been playing, I've been fitting Peggle in there. I play Peggle after I get bored with one game, I'll throw in Peggle and I'll try and do some of these challenges. I'm working on an achievement called the Peggle Professor, which is completing 75 challenges. And they all range from getting a lot of points to clearing all the pegs to beating some computer and some versus modes and stuff like that. Uh, um, I'm at 63 out of 75 challenges done. If any of you listening have this achievement, I applaud you. It is extremely hard. I I have a feeling that I'm going to get to like 70 out of the 75 achievements done and it's going to be impossible to get some of these done. Um, and after, actually what I was thinking about doing is buying this DLC for it called Peggle Knights and they give you a few more magic moves and stuff like that. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to be able to get an edge if I buy the DLC it might make it a little bit easier. The only problem with that, and it's also adding achievements, I think you get like another 50 points, but it's adding 50 points, it's adding 60 adventure levels and 75 more challenges. So if they're anything like these challenges, then I'm going to have fun with that. That's what I get to look forward to. Yay. 
All right. Do you have time to eat and sleep? Yeah, you know, I squeeze that in. <laughs> I squeeze that in every now and then. <laughs> Who needs to do that? It's either one or the other each day. As long as I'm popping achievements, there ain't no time to sleep. Yeah. I mean, that's like, a 24-hour day job. Let's keep hearing those bloops. But yeah, and that's that's what I've been playing. You know, that's about it. Yeah, if anybody hears any, you know, playing any of these games we mentioned, man, you know, send us a, a message. And if you're not on our friends list, uh, friend invite. But make sure you send a message so we know who you are, and we can all knock out these achievements together. You know, if you need help. Yeah, I'm interested on how that Peggle DLC is because if it's really worth it, then I'll pick it up. If I'm going to be able to score a whole lot of points with some different character, or anything. Yeah, wait till it's deal of the week and pick it up. Yeah, I wouldn't pay full price for it. Yeah, I always wait till the deal of the week if it's something I wasn't sure about. Nah, for a DLC, then. though, I don't see that going on sale. I don't know. Not anytime mm-hmm. soon, I don't think. 400 points? We'll see. I, I might I might impulse buy it. We'll see. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, but in other news, did you hear that the uh, Ghostbusters game is getting a patch? Oh, yeah. But it's yes, not going to be till the all dashboard update. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I played a lot of Ghostbusters and I played a lot of the multiplayer. I'm uh I'm fairly maxed out as far as leveling up in the multiplayer goes. So if And you got one of the achievements that was supposedly glitched too. There was like a several achievements. It was mainly the online multiplayer achievements that weren't uh that were glitched and you got one yeah, of them, I think. I got I got employee of the month. Uh don't ask me how. I think I have like three million dollars on there or something i played a lot of games of ghostbusters and it was just for fun like i really wasn't looking for the achievements or anything and they just ended up popping so that worked out in my benefit hopefully once this patch comes out i'll be able to throw it in play a couple games of multiplayer and i should be able to get all the other glitched achievements because i i know i've already done them yeah this game's been out for a year now and uh they they just they announced they're fixing it, which is I mean, on one hand you're upset that the achievements were glitched, but the other hand I mean it's pretty impressive that they actually fixed it because there's a lot of games out there where they don't fix their glitches. You know? Well, yeah, and and Fox. now it's it's better. Fox is one of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's better late than never. You know, like I urge all these developers to learn from Terminal. Uh, velocity into uh, terminal reality. Terminal reality. <laughs> I know. I keep wanting to call it terminal velocity. Too. Terminal reality. They need to learn from them and release the patches for these glitch achievements. You know, like I really don't care if it's a three-year-old game or anything. If people got it, then they're gonna want the points. But I wonder why they gotta wait till the fall update. Why can't they just, you know, you pop the game in and you get a little? Probably because it's there. not ready. Patch. No. Ready. Or it could could the patch be very, you know, maybe very large size and then there's a limit on what. You know, they can put up as a patch when you put a game in, so it has to be on a dashboard update, maybe. I don't know. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense, at least for me, just because, you know, I, I'm downloading the Ghostbusters update, even though I've never played the game. So, for my, I mean, plus, they were supposed to get rid of dashboard updates in general anyways, so I, I thought everything was all modular now. That way they can add and remove stuff easy, um, but... I would say that it's just not ready yet, and they'll release it whenever they feel like it. Yeah. But, um... Well, and I still I, haven't put in the game recently. Like, maybe I could try putting in the game. Maybe it'll update. Yeah, I wonder if, like, the patch, if the the achievement will automatically pop. For the people that have already, you know, completed and never got the achievement, I wonder if once they put the game in to get online, will it unlock, or will they have to play one more game, or will they have to... You know, because I don't know if you remember Far Cry 2, that game was glitched, and when they fixed it, it basically got rid of your save game file. You had to start all over again. Mm. And I hope yeah. I hope Ghostbusters or Terminal Re- uh, Reality doesn't say, "Oh, we fixed it," but you got to start from scratch again online with your career mode. You know, so I hope. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll have a out. we'll have a follow up on that. I'll check it out, put it in the Xbox, see what's going on, play a couple multiplayer, see if I get some points, and we'll let you all know. Yeah, I know for a fact the update isn't out. However, uh, um, it's it's. Uh, we don't know whether it's going to be like Rab said. If if you can just pop in the game, play one multiplayer game, and since you've already technically earned it, you know, uh, would it be would it just unlock for you, or will your multiplayer data? You know, I wonder if they'll yeah. just do a leaderboard wipe and just say, okay, everybody restart. You know, well, we more importantly, it. will they actually patch it to where the Ghostbuster game plays the Ghostbuster song besides when you die? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> 
I love that song. You know, so yeah, yeah, I just hope the only time you heard it was when you died. So yeah. I was just dying all the time. All right, hey, check out the song. It's fun, you know, and kill myself. Yeah, well, and as far as the game Ghostbusters go, it's a good game. And if you've seen all the Ghostbuster movies, then you're gonna have a good nostalgia for it. If you just walk around, the environment and everything is jam packed, full of old movie, old movie stuff, and Vigo in his painting, and you can stand there in front of him, and he'll talk to you and everything. And who who doesn't want to fight the state puff? Marshmallow Man, you know. I, I don't want to fight. I want to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting fight. I I never played the game retail, but I was able to play it like before uh, before it oh, came yeah, out. Oh yeah, did you test it? Yeah, I tested it, and then I stopped. And you didn't up. see this? You didn't catch this glitch? Um, man, what kind yeah, of it's all it? it's all my problem, all my fault. So blame it on me. No, they. I asked about multiplayer because I was trying to get info for the for the website, this Xbox Live, and. Uh, and he was like, oh, we're still working on blah, blah, blah. So I, I just played the single player. And, uh, like, he was, you know, the way they do the focus testing, at least there, is, like, you, you're videotaped. And you got to, like, talk about your, like, feelings and what you're thinking, like, out loud while you're playing. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and and so, like, it, it was just awkward because, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't really, like, talk about my like what I'm thinking about it while I'm playing the game. So that was, yeah, really I've done that for so. Microsoft too. It's not very, yeah, you just kind of, when, usually when I'm playing games, I'm not, unless my wife is talking to me, she always wants to know what's up, what I'm, what I'm thinking, you know, it's like, right. that. It's like I can't think right now I'm playing a game. <laughs> right. So, I mean, it's all for the right reasons though. They want to say, you know, they're, they want to know like, how hard is it? You know, what do you think of the environment? Blah, blah, blah. And pretty much all I'd say was, Oh, the environment looks good. You know, did they take any of your this. advice? Did they take your advice? Did you pick uh, anything out and they said, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll change it? I, I never played the retail game, so I couldn't tell you. And I don't remember what I said. But uh, but anyways, the roundabout story, um, I got stuck on fighting the Stay Puffed guy because they don't tell you, like, you know, they don't give you any advice. And you're just sitting there, and the guy that's just in – I'm in his office just playing this game, and he's just checking his email or whatever while I'm, like, struggling – <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you know, not cussing or anything, but I'm just like getting frustrated. I'm like, I can't beat this. Darn marshmallow. <laughs> I can't, I can't do this. And so, and then it happened again when the, uh, when you got to the, the books or whatever that were like, you were on this pathway or whatever. Yeah, and, like kind of in the library. Yeah. Yeah. And like, uh, I don't know. There's this pathway with these, these books flying around and, I couldn't beat that, and he was like, "All right, well, we'll just turn you into God, and you know, just run." It's right like you got to follow like little kid footsteps on the ground and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it's. <laughs> he, he was like, "Oh, we haven't we haven't fixed this section yet." So, well, well that was a nice way of saying you suck. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Cause Here, like, let me just turn you into God. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty much. I was like, "How did you do that?" Uh, I need to know how to do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, but overall, from what I saw, it was it was a good it was a pretty good game. So, well, and if they end up wiping out our multiplayer profiles, then I'll probably be looking for somebody to play that with because there's no way that I'll go through it by myself and get all these achievements and and like redo the achievements that I already got. It'll be more fun if I'm unlocking achievements for somebody else as well. Yeah, I was lucky. I heard I got the game later after it was out, and I heard about those achievements. So I, I didn't even bother trying to go for them. So, I have if they wipe my my career out and make me start all over, it's really no biggie for me. Yeah. So. Well, I'm I don't know. I don't know if people will be mad about that, or they'll just be happy that they finally patched it, and they'll you know. Yeah. No, so they are. I mean, I don't know how hard the achievements are to get, but I mean, if you've already earned them, you earned them. You shouldn't have to earn them twice. Well, really, as long as they don't wipe out all the wanted ghosts that I've already caught and everything, I don't got a problem with them wiping my file. As long as they don't do a Far Cry 2 on us, it's, it's yeah. Good. Delete like your whole hard drive. <laughs> yeah, like we fixed it, but you got to start over. <laughs> we fixed it, but we deleted every save game for yeah. on your hard drive. The Twenty hours you put in, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> so. But that that's good. Finally they uh they got the message after I threw a bunch of bricks into their uh into their office. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody yeah. wants their address, you know, I can give it to yeah. you. So yeah. you can go give them a piece of your mind. They're three. probably working on uh Blood Rain three or five <laughs> or whatever. I remember that game. <laughs> 
but yeah. and they are they are doing a movie. I mean, not terminal reality, but they uh, I guess they green lighted the next uh, Ghostbuster movie because the game did so well. Oh, really? The, yeah, this game was supposed to be Ghostbusters three, um, and they weren't going to make one, you know. And well, the game did well, and they it was received very well, and I guess you know they realized people are still enthused about Ghostbusters, so they're actually working on a movie right now. Cool, that sounds good. I'm yeah, all for it. So we may get another Ghostbusters game based off the third movie. Who knows? So, so are they going to be in wheelchairs now, or? <laughs> I think they're going to bring in some new people. Uh, wow. They might keep some of them. I don't know. You, you know, the story was in the Ghostbuster game. They did bring you were the new guy that hired on, you know, and right. these guys were, you know, training you. But you know, they, I mean, they could do anything with the story in Hollywood. So you let out stuff. all the ghosts, and then yeah. you go. Yeah, it's your fault. Long. Instead of firing you, they they give you a raise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're leaving. See you guys later. Now you got it. Now it's your problem. We retire. <laughs> but I know, I know people. Uh, I know Comrade, and there's a few other on my friend list. I mean, these are serious achievement hunters or achievement hounds, and they refused to even play the game till it was patched. So oh, there's going to be a lot it. of uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to start playing it now because they can get the 1K. You know, yeah. it's like a scar on your gamer card with that thing. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I'm not, you know, these guys, man, they, they got like 1K, 1K, 1K all the way down and they don't want, even okay. games like, uh, Condemned, the first Condemned didn't even have a thousand achievement points and people stay away from that, you know. So, cause they yeah. got that one, 1000 or the 1250, they like to see the completed, yeah. uh, talent, you know. It's all about the completion percentage. Kind of taking yeah. it to the extreme. Yep. But, yeah. I'd love to have those gamer scores and oh, yeah. those and those completion percentages. Yeah, sometimes it's more impressive instead of seeing a high gamer score to see people's completion rate. That's pretty impressive too. Yeah, like you have know. you know seventy thousand but a hundred percent completion or ninety eight yeah. nine point eight percent completion. You know that's pretty amazing. Yeah, like our buddy uh, Soul Assassin. You know he doesn't have a high gamer score, but you look at his games and he finishes them. Right. I mean he gets as many achievements as he can out of it. And you're like wow. Right. You know? Yeah, he's he's one of those guys that's got GTA all maxed out, and I think maybe not the DLC, but I think the retail disc he's got done, and yeah. yeah. I just wish the uh, Microsoft did something to where you can actually instead. Of, the only way to know that information about somebody is you have to actually go down their list of games and or you know trueachievements.com. They have it where you can look at some if they're if they're registered on that site, but you got to go through and look them up. You know, I kind of, in a way, you know, the trophy system on, on, on PlayStation is actually pretty neat because you get a platinum. If you finish every single uh, achievement in a game, let's say you get an actual platinum. So it looks, you could just count the people's platinum, see how many they have, and go, wow, they won, basically 1K'd those games. You know how many, and it's, you know, I kind of wish they, uh, Microsoft kind of did something, Xbox did something like that, you know. Because uh, it, it, it is impressive to see people get 1K on, on some games because I'm like, wow, how'd they do that, you know. You know, you you lost me at PlayStation. I don't. Yeah. Even, I don't even know what that is. What what is what is PlayStation that? PlayStation what? No, I, but I'm talking about their trophy system. See, they 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 knew the achievement system was so good. They were like, man, we got to do something like this. So they came up with trophies. So, I had a right? class with a guy that was like Uber PlayStation, and they had just launched the trophy system, and uh, I was like, oh, trophies, really? I mean, achievements have been along for a while. Isn't that totally a copy from the xbox he's like no it's so different blah 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 <laughs> and i'm like well, whatever dude yeah and their entire li- their whole library doesn't have even have trophies only so you know games from certain right year on so you go play an older game you're like you're not gonna get nothing out of it which right. is really cool with the xbox i mean from the very first game they had achievements from the beginning yeah, well, and mo- most of the time the easy the easiest games are the ones that you know where the pilot games are achievements which is great yeah it seems like developers really didn't know what to do with achievements at first yeah. like okay well we have to put them in let's just throw them in and they just you know some were just story related like king kong i think was story related yeah. you know, all you gotta do is beat the game at heart and boom there you go and then uh, you see over the years though developers are getting a lot uh, a lot more creative with these achievements you know right well, so, and, uh, and you can explore so many more ways on how to play the game but the good part about having all the achievements being story related is you can mainly focus on enjoying the game and know that the achievements are going to come right. when you beat the game. So you don't got to go out of your way to do anything stupid or anything like that, you know. Like punch a horse. Yeah. King Kong was <laughs> King Kong was All right. That's about all I could say about King Kong. Yeah, usually what I do with the game, if I know the game is good and I've been waiting for it, I'll play it through and I won't even care about achievements. 
because if I own that's it, I mean, if I own the game because I'm going to own it. I don't trade my games and I'm going to have it forever. So yeah. I'll go through. I'll play the whole game. I don't even care about the achievements. I won't even look at it. Well, and then I'll go back and play it again. And then I'll go for the achievements because I get more out of my game that way. You know? Yeah. Or just taking a quick take a quick peek at if any of the achievements are missable. Look look at the missable achievements so that you really. Don't have to go back through and play the yeah. entire game. Well, like I said, if it's a great game, I don't care going, you know, going back. But yeah, yeah, there are some achievements you're like, oh, all I had to do was open this door and kick a box. You know, I mean, that yeah. kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. I could have done that. You know, but yeah, I like achievements. They're, uh, they're fun. They're make, they're kind of a, a game or a con- kind of, of a game in, in itself. You yeah. Know, without, you know, so. Well, and it gives, it gives a total replayability, like you were saying. Like I own, probably about 80% of the games that are on my list. So if I ever wanted to go back and clean up some achievements or anything, I can. Like, I urge all the community, don't trade in your games. If Unless you got a 1K, 1K game, send them off. That's cool. But keep it just in case you want to, you know, go after that achievement. Especially the online ones, you know, that take forever to level up. You can just always do it throughout the year, you know. Well, yeah, and then when when boosting gets boring, it's just, you know, space it out. Space it out a little bit more. You don't you don't necessarily need that achievement at at that minute, you know. Unless you're Kyle, unless you're Moronic Kyle, then you need all. <laughs> yeah, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> you will play that game till you are so sick of it. <laughs> yeah, it it will basically. Uh, my philosophy on games is that since I have GameFly and and all of us have GameFly, but I got two games at a time, and I'm just one of those people that. You know, I don't trade in my games anymore because you don't get anything. I mean, two dollars for a game. Yeah. If I ever decided to pop that back in, I think it would be worth two dollars ever. You know, yeah. and and I probably yeah. won't ever pop it back in. But if I do, at least I have that opportunity, and I you know didn't give it away for two dollars. Yeah. Just or a DLC so will come out like a year later you didn't even know about. You know, they right. didn't even announce. You're like, oh man. You know, Left 4 Dead 1. How many people got rid of their Left 4 Dead 1 when Left 4 Dead 2 came out? And all of a sudden, they announced these new these new uh, DLC. It was like, oh. You know, and they're like, dang it. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I, I don't want to give GameStop really any of my money anyways. So, And that's all pure profit. Yeah. So, And they mark it up like crazy, which, I mean, any business would do. But I, I just decided to keep my games. Uh, that way I just yeah. have a, a catalog. But uh, I know personally that once I set – like if I – get a game like Red Dead, which we're going to talk about here in a second, um, and and I get to a point where I'm grinding like crazy, and, and I'm getting so bored of it, if I set it down, chances are I'll never come back to it. Like uh, Bioshock, haven't beaten that on hard. Bioshock 2, haven't beaten that on hard. Uh, gosh, the list goes on and on. Pretty much any game that I don't have a 1,000 in, it's because I just got bored of it, and I probably own it unless it's like – Garbage, but uh, yeah. Yep. So I don't do GameFly, but when I did, what I'd like to do was I'd get a GameFly, game, you know, and I'd play it. I'd be like, yeah, I don't want to finish it. I don't got the, I don't have the 1K. I'll send it back six months from now. I'll find it in a bargain bin and I'll buy it and finish right. it out. You know, that's what I need to do with the Incredible Hulk. That was a GameFly game from way long ago. Got ten points on it and mailed it back. What was I thinking? <laughs> Ah, oh, you can pretty cheap now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure it is. But now my thing with GameFly is I'll rent a game, and then if I don't 1K it, if I know I'm not going to get the 1K, I'll just keep it. I just click keep it. So I end up spending kind of a lot more money. At least it's on used games. I like I'm not really buying them new or anything like that. But you know, ten but, bucks, it's worth it. I'll put by it the in way, at the collection. It uh, it just came out, but Naughty Bear on GameFly. Thirty-one dollars to keep it. Nice. Well, and it's probably only to keep it. Like, if you were to go to the store and try and buy it, I'm sure it's forty-nine ninety-nine. I'm interested to just play it, you know, and just be like, yeah, this is gonna take forever, so I might as well just buy it. And I've got a five-dollar coupon too, so I can yeah. get a new game for twenty-eight bucks. That's the only game on my game queue right now, so I should be getting it hopefully. Yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you how it is. I I haven't even cracked open the the packaging yet. Um, yeah. But uh, I I'm thinking about it now. I probably end up just buying it. That's why I overwork overtime so I can buy games like that. Um, cool. Cool. Well, do we want to talk about uh, Red Dead, our game of the week? Yeah. Yeah, the DLC. Um, 
Yeah, uh, before we jump into that, though, this this is our first episode, like we mentioned uh, throughout the show. And uh, getting our podcast submitted to iTunes and Zoom and stuff, because we will be a separate feed, or we are a separate feed, uh, could take a while. So we're actually leaving out some of our time-sensitive material, like uh, boosting nights. Uh, we would like to get our community together for that. Um, so if you if you want to boost a game or you want us to check out a game that to get and, and boost with you um, or any any easy thousands that you guys have gotten and think that we should play you know right uh you can you can post uh, we have a forum set up under uh forums.thisxboxlife.com we have a achievement hounds basically category there's a bunch of different uh, options. You can comment on our episodes, tell us how we're doing, what, suggestions, if you have any suggestions for us, questions that we'll get to here in a second. Uh, and just, uh, you know, talk about your achievements, what's been popping for you lately, that, that type of deal. So check that out. Um, also, we're doing a retail game section each week where we'll talk about the new releases and Kind of, you know, if we're going to be getting it, kind of what we're thinking as a preliminary grade for the game, whether it's going to, you know, be worth your while to check it out for achievements or uh, if if it's a pass. I know that we've got some information on like Toy Story 3 that came out not too long ago. It, it's, it seems like it'd be an easy game, but it uh, took more time than people expected it to with the collectibles and stuff like that and replaying levels. Um but stuff like that will just give you some insight on some research that we've done throughout the week. So that will be added uh, as as for next show, episode two. But uh, right now, it's the game of the week, and that, that won't change. Uh, not really time sensitive. We got Red Dead plus plus the co-op. So, Rav, you've played the most uh, co-op for Red Dead. Well, what do you think, just speaking on the co-op <laughs> part, and you just got your retail disc thousand, didn't you? Oh, finally, yes, nice. yes, finally. Well, Level well, fifty well. online. That's that was the last achievement, and the most time consuming. I felt like I was playing a World of Warcraft or some other MMO, grinding the same, <laughs> you know, respawn camp, you know. <laughs> but uh, as far as the co-op, um, yeah, I, I'm missing two achievements, and they're all in the advanced co-op uh, section. Once you complete the co-op, or if you, you know, as long as somebody in your in your posse has finished the co-op, I believe you can go in the advanced co-op after that. Um, but yeah, the co-op missions are, they're great. I mean, they're just basically, uh, the gang hideouts with a little story to them, you know, and you, you know, kind of a modified hybrid of a, of free roam and gang hideout. And you run around with your posse and there's about, I think there's four, yeah, four, uh, four missions. And, uh, as far as achievements, you're, you should get, if you just, if you go with two people on the first, uh, I think it's called the escape, the first co-op mission you should knock out about five achievements in the first mission alone uh, a lot of five pointers um basically you don't die uh nobody die. And you could go yeah. you can get uh in, incapacitated and your partner can bring you up uh but yeah don't die uh, mission for doing with two people i mean there's like five achievements that pop that you can get to pop on your first uh your first uh playthrough or your first play and we all and we all love seeing achievements not stop popping Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I was like, when is it going to stop? It was like, <laughs> like popcorn. I'm like, all right. Like five points, Sweet. who cares? Just keep, yeah, five them, coming. <laughs> keep them coming. <laughs> yeah, like little treats, you know. Um, advanced co-op, though, is, is another story. It is very, very difficult. I mean, they got Major League Baseball pitchers throwing dynamite at you, uh, you know, sniper, SEAL team snipers and everybody. I mean, it's just crazy. You don't know where things are coming from and yeah. there's – you know, and you don't get no, uh, assist, uh, you know, the expert, uh, the, like, aiming. auto aim, yeah, they take away. Yeah, that. there's no auto aim, and which, if yeah. you try riding a horse and shooting at the same time, it's not easy. Driving a station uh, wagon and trying yeah. to shoot, it's horrible. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, aim, aim for the horse. Don't even try to shoot the dude unless you're really good, but I, the horse is a bigger target. And I don't they care keep what. Moving. You know. Yeah, I don't, I don't care what PETA says. Kill the horses. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll, it'll help you in the long run because the guys will fall down. You can get away on your stagecoach. Well, this is the last episode of Achievement Hounds podcast because PETA is suing us as we speak. So <laughs> it's been fun, guys. Talk to you guys later. No. Kill the horses. <laughs>
<laughs> not your own horse, yeah. but you always get some idiot, some idiot in your group that wants to shoot your own horse on the stagecoach, and then you you went from four horse four horsepower to three horsepower and slow. Yeah, let's, not, right. let's not mention any names, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's not talk about anything, but any, anybody, I, I don't know who would do that. That's kind of ridiculous, you know. <laughs> I mean, well, let's get back on the. Are we good on the DLC? Uh, well, I, Allie, you got pretty to much add? everybody just needs to know that the expert co-op is ridiculous, and to have four people like on just, the advanced co-op, definitely. basically right. Just well, not only is it hard to get through it, but then to get the achievement, you have to another achievement. You got to get gold on every single one. So not only do you have to make it through it, but you got to get a high enough score in the in the uh, the mission to get a gold. Yeah. And for yeah. you that have played the regular disc game, getting a gold on these advanced on these co-op missions aren't as hard as doing it on the regular game. Like you don't necessarily have to shoot everybody in the head or anything like that. It's more based on getting your chain kill up to get the points and beating it in a decent amount of time to get the gold. Um, when I was running through it on the normal, not the advanced co-op, just regular co-op, um, there really wasn't a struggle on getting all the golds. Just play the game and you should be able to get yeah. gold. The only level that we really had trouble on was called the river, which we were running with four people, and we weren't getting our chain kills up high enough, so if you drop it down, I did it with two people, and we ended up getting killed at the very end. So then I went to three people, and we breezed through it in about ten minutes, and we got the gold, so three people on the river works just fine. I'm gonna have to get you guys to uh, run through the river for me real quick uh, at yeah. some point, so I can get that gold because that's the only one that I'm missing. Yeah. Um. But but yeah, the definitely an understatement to say that the gold for single player missions are not the same as uh, the gold for multiplayer because if they were the same, like you know headshots, chain kills, uh, you, you pretty much got to hit everybody in the face, kill everybody. And, uh, I'll chain them together. Um, I, I'm just, I would just, you know, burn my retail disc because <laughs> there's no way that I'm getting, yeah. you know, some of yeah. those achievements. Absolutely no way. Yeah. And I'm so um, burned out too. I don't feel like trying right now. Well, on, on the regular retail, I'm only missing two achievements. I gotta do the four team wins in a row. So anybody out there that wants to do that, just you can actually boost that, that with uh, just one person. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Me and Rab can help you with that. Yeah, and then uh, I just recently got the complete 100% in the single player. I got that. And... Uh, was I right? or was No, I... so me and Kyle had a debate <laughs> going with Kyle saying that there's 19 strangers. Which there are. Which I have yet to find the 19 stranger, but I ran through, I did all my bounty missions and... All my gang hideouts and everything, all the outfits and everything, and um, 18 strangers and the achievement popped. So maybe with the update with the co-op DLC, maybe they fix something. I think you had to do a lot more than what I had to do. So yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I I had to do bad. 19 strangers. So uh, but he yeah he also got 10 more achievement points for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> nah. But, uh, it's 100 points, isn't it? 100 points for the uh, the achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big. That's a lot for one yeah. achievement. The uh, the only have you real not gotten part... that yet, Raf? What's that? Have you not gotten that? No, I got it. I was joking. I said you got 110 uh, for it because you had an extra stranger jump in. Yeah. Your thing. yeah. The only the only real hard part about all that is the ambient challenges. Um, sharpshooter, and it's pretty easy. The worst is master hunter. Well, and I had an easy time doing Master Hunter. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> find those animals. Those animals hid from me, and the only thing that came after me were cougars and, like, eight bears at a time. See, and everybody's going around saying all these cougars are killing them. Man, I only ran into, like, four or five cougars the entire game. Like, I don't know where you guys were running around. but uh, I was running in cougar country. I guess. <laughs> I I guess. <laughs> when I heard cougars, I thought they were talking about women. I was going to the brothel trying to find them. <laughs> Jeez. I uh, stay out of the bar, ravioli. <laughs> yeah, we're playing poker. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I can't remember. There, there was a like the the worst to me. You okay over there, buddy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the worst for me was I think kill five scocks, five. Wow. Five, five foxmen. <laughs> five foxes, scocks, the skunks. <laughs> <scocks. laughs> wow. 
<laughs> I can't talk right now. Uh, and raccoons, I think. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Well, and um, that was the hardest. That was the hardest for me. Oh, they I spawn right me. behind. Yeah, they spawn behind the general store in Armadillo, right in the back. You just stand there, and they all the one just if you it's either going to be a skunk or a armadillo, and they just keep spawning. You just well, no, stand no. There. I killed I killed the skunks around armadillo, and then the foxes were up in tall trees, right. and then the uh, the raccoons at nighttime, and it can't be raining oh, because the raccoons, raccoons aren't yeah. going to be in in the rain. Oh, okay. So at nighttime during the rain or at nighttime, like right behind armadillo. You just look out. Yeah, the general store. Yeah, it was a, actually. Yeah, you're right. It was the uh, skunk, and not the not the armadillo. It was the other thing. Whatever you it was. Mean the skunks. <laughs> yeah, you guys gotta yeah, watch just... out for them skunks, dude. <laughs> I wonder what happened when when someone breeds a skunk and a fox. Have you you ran out? You ran into a jackalope yet? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a two. I, I was in Mexico and I saw a chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys know what that is. Anyway, oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Nubia Challenge is pretty difficult. Just uh, Treasure was easy. I thought the sharpshooter was fairly easy. On the, like, the the disarm people. Yeah, that was loading, the one that I had the trouble with. Was just use your dead eye and, and it will auto-reload for you, but it won't count against the, uh, the challenge. So. Or, or just go down to one clip. I just went down to one clip to make sure. I didn't really put that to the test, but I don't know about the auto-reload not counting. What do you mean? I just told you that it worked. Cause I <laughs> All right. You don't trust me? I trust you. I trust you. Okay. It's All right. Done. All right. Anyways. Well, what do you think about I, the legendary animals? Those were a letdown. Yeah, I thought those were going to be ridiculous. I but. think I think that the, <laughs> that that bear in the cave was the best one, and he got a few good swipes on me. I thought he almost killed me, but good old buffalo rifle saved my saved my behind. Oh, I just took but the. They Evans. were these same animals, though. They were yeah. like they just called them another name. And they popped up on your radar, so it was I don't know. Well, that, that bear well, was the, pretty big. Okay. The bear was big, but it also had like a scar on its eye or whatever. You yeah. notice that. Um, but I just get my yeah. Evans. I, I go into Dead Eye. I just get my Evans repeater and just light, light, lit all three of them up. Yeah. So I, they never got. A, a pop. Well, and with that buffalo rifle, like I took down that cheetah in one shot, <laughs> and I took down the wolf in one shot. So they really weren't. They weren't nothing. And and when you get into the general area. You'll you'll come across and it'll say like you summoned Gordo the boar and then he'll come up as a red light on your or a red dot on your map. So when you're looking for him, you'll know when you find him. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So those are a joke. The bear one would kill a bear with a knife. It was easy, but I I mean I spent like ten minutes chasing this bear after I cut him. He just started running. Yeah. And I'm trying to knife him and cut him. I'm trying to, you know, he runs the same speed as me and I'm trying to cut him off. And then, then all of a sudden he aggroed like four more bears. And then I, they got mixed up, you know, and I forgot which one was which. And so I ended up shooting the wrong one and I had to do it again. Uh, yeah. Luckily learned, for me, I, I caught one bear single. He was just standing there. I shot him in the leg and went up and knifed him. And that was, dumb. yeah, that's, that's the best way. I, I was told that afterwards, shoot, shoot him in the legs with a weak weapon. Yeah. That way they, they kind of limp and kind of run slower. And then you can just knife them up all you want. And... Yeah. The the problem with, for me was the cougar, like knifing the cougar. That was ridiculous. Um, and then, like, it, it just seemed like every time I'd get a challenge, I couldn't I couldn't find the animals. Like, they didn't spawn. Yeah. And then right after the challenge yep. was completed, then there was like <laughs> seven billion of them. Yeah, did you ever I used, use the bait? Yes, I did. Okay, that's and, how I found the rattlesnake. That was, you know, using that bait. You had to get a rattlesnake? I don't remember that. Well, I did. Well, I you, had to, you had to kill a rattlesnake for killing one of every animal. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah most people I talked to, though, um, they always killed. They didn't even know. They don't even remember killing a rattlesnake. Yeah. <laughs> they actually killed them. You don't you didn't even know. I got, last, I got bit by a rattlesnake. I killed yeah. him. Yeah. My last one was a duck. Nice. Oh, I was at the lake. Yeah, I just went to the lake. The, I just saw this random bird in the sky, so I shot it and bam, yeah. unlocked. I thought I thought the achievement said you had to also skin them, and I didn't know. And so I, every time I killed each animal, I skinned it. 
Well, no matter what I did, I couldn't kill a duck and have it the body fall down on dry land. It was always in the river, and I kept walking out there, and dr- I drowned like seven times oh, trying geez. to go out and skin a duck. <laughs> and then I saw, oh, man, it doesn't even say anything about skinning. I got the challenges mixed up with the achievement. Right. Yeah. How long did it take you guys to 100% uh, read the the single-player portion? Then we'll move to the multiplayer. Uh, I don't know. For me... Uh, I took my time. I probably did about forty hours. Yeah, I'd say thirty-five, forty hours. Sounds about right. Yeah, I was I was about thirty, thirty-five hours myself. So, I mean, it, it's definitely doable. I, I, I played a lot of poker though. I sat around in that bar for a really long time. I got oh, really, really, I got really good at cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got called out a bunch of times. Well, and that's how I won, like, my duels. And when you play that ambient challenge to, like, shoot the hats off two people and disarm two people, I just went yeah. into the bar and got caught cheating, and then I shot the hat off them in the duel. And another thing is when you're trying to go for getting your honor all the way up or your fame yeah, and stuff, yep, yep. all you got to do is cheat in poker, and then you go to a duel, and if you disarm them, you get 100 fame points. So I did about, like, after I completed the game, my fame was, like, three-quarters of the way full. And I went in there, and I did, like, 15 duels to get my fame all the way up. And then after that, I've been rolling around with a bandana on my face the entire rest of the game. Pretty fun. Oh, yeah, didn't you wear a bandana most of the time on the game? Or was it somebody else? I was talking to somebody. They put, they wore a bandana the whole game. Oh, and by yeah. the time they finished the game, they did not have enough honor <laughs> To, um, to get the uh, you know outfit, so they had to go, and that's what they did. They, they yeah. Uh, that if you if you do any missions, make sure you take that bandana off, or else you're not going to get any fame or yeah. honor. Right. Yeah. If you want, if you're going good and you want to do something bad, then wear the bandana. Yeah. Well, and it's more fun, like, because I ran around as a good guy. Normally, I play the bad guy. Normally, I like playing the evil person. But uh, in this game, I went around. I was the good guy, and. It brings a whole new aspect of it, like, I'm going to go in this town and I'm going to shoot it up. But, oh, but wait, first, throw on the bandana, and then just start lighting people up. <laughs> right. What about the what about- uh, multiplayer side? How long did it take you guys to do that? Well, to just run through the normal camp, the normal co-op missions, probably like, I don't know, two hours, and that's that's stretching it. What about you guys? Yeah, I, I spent the most time on multiplayer. Uh, Moronic Kyle and I. Oh we yeah, found out, Yeah, we found out that um, the, your weapon kills do not uh, accumulate together. They don't add up between your single player and your multiplayer. So if, if you need 500 kills with a Gatling gun and cannon, and you got 300 in single player, you think we thought, oh, we just need 200 more in multiplayer. But no, it says single player or multiplayer. So you have to get five. And most people don't even get the 500 kills in the single player game. With the uh, gauntlet, with the Gatling gun and the cannon, right. so you need to go and get 500 multiplier. And Moronic Cal and I went up and held up at the uh, that El uh, Presidio. Mexican, yep. Yeah, Presidio. It's a Mexican fort. They got Gatling guns and cannons. Or El Perdido and hit, or something. And with Schmooby, our buddy Schmooby was up there with us, and we were up there for hours and yeah, hours that's, taking that's on the whole Mexican army. Yeah. I did that with one other person, and I'd say that took us probably like three hours straight of just mowing people down with a Gatling gun. Yep, sounds about right. Yeah. That took a while, and the level 50 took a long time. Yeah, I'm only like a level 23 on the multiplayer, so I really can't say, and I really don't know. Like, hopefully they come out with more DLC to get me back into it, or we continue with these advanced co-ops. There like, was a fast way to level up, but Moronic Cal said uh, they they patched it, and they can't do it. Right. Anymore. Yeah, the way that I... the The only nice thing about you know, grinding a game out right when it comes out is that if there's something that isn't, you know, necessarily right but isn't really a glitch either, that, you know, you can get it done before it's patched. And that's exactly what ended up happening with me is that there was a – you probably see – the YouTube videos are probably still up, uh, but there's this uh, way in Twin Rocks where if you t- chained all your kills together, you, cl- you know, cleaned everybody out in a timely manner and uh, you got – you know, 22 kills and depending on how many headshots you got. But the biggest thing was to get the bonus for cleaning house and then the uh, chain all your kills together, which would have been 22 total, which if I could do it, it wasn't very hard. So um, oh, once once you get it down, it took me a while to get it down. But once you got it down, you're getting like 1,600 points 
fourteen hundred to sixteen hundred points in a minute and thirty seconds. And and to me, it was constant action. I was constantly shooting somebody. I was constantly watching my time. It wasn't like Pike's Basin where you know I'd I'd shoot like sixteen people. And then, uh, now I've gotta, you know, blow this thing up and, you know, I gotta wait for this guy to take 30 seconds to blow it up. And then, you know, I gotta get on my horse and run over here and I gotta repeat that process three times, you know. That, that took about six minutes and it netted me about 2,400 points. But at Twin Rocks, I was, I was cranking it out really just hardcore. I was, I was getting points like no other. So I just sat there and, you know, for three, four hours and, and got enough points to get my 50. And I was gonna, I did a video review of, of the game and I was gonna include that in my video review to show, hey, you know, if I could do it, anybody could. Um, and that was when the patch came out uh, to fix uh, multiplayer issues and connectivity issues. And, uh, I guess they patched that twin rocks because it wasn't supposed to be doing that. So, uh, I chained all my kills together, did everything that I, you know, did when I got level 50 and I only got like 400, 600 points. So the best right now, if you're, if you're looking for level 50, unfortunately, like I'm practically falling asleep when I'm, when I was doing it, but Pike's Basin by yourself or, or, you know, probably by yourself is the best in just a private match. Just keep grinding out, keep grinding out. Eventually it's just going to come so second nature that, you know, you'll get it done in about five, Five minutes and thirty seconds to six minutes, and uh, that's going to be the best way right now. But I'm interested, Rav. How how long do you know? Kind of a, a ballpark. How long it took you? Because you don't really you didn't really do Twin Rocks at all. So this your your guest your your uh, online time is is a lot would be a lot closer to what somebody right now would get. Yeah, and I don't know off the top of my head what it is, but it's a lot. Say 50 hours, 60 hours. I'll probably, yeah, 60 to 70. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause mine was 45, I think. I think I did mine in 45 hours. And that was all the online, you know, like all the online achievements plus the level 50. Cause I wasn't constantly boosting. So, um, so I yeah. guess I would say right now, since they got rid of twin, twin rocks, the, you know, the good points, I would say that 60 to 70 hours is what you're looking for on the online, which that's a good amount. I mean, that really, that really is. I'm hoping it's, that uh, they come out with new DLC and then I can get back on it. I'm, I think I'm like a level 24 right now. So if I could get up to say 35, then I might start boosting it up. But, yeah. The DLC does help level up a little bit because it kind of takes the, uh, the boredom out of grinding the same gang hideout. You know, and there's people too. I mean, if you like doing death matches and team death match and all those other little games they have, I mean, you could, you know, you can it's enjoy that break. and level up without even knowing it, you know. Right. So. It's a good break, but the best way to get points is just to boost high spikes and basin. And, and I yeah, mean, if you want to get it fast. Yeah. If you're going to be going for gold and advanced co-op, you know, you're going to be getting points there and chances are, unless you're, you know, uber good and you've got three other of your buddies that are just ridiculous at Red Dead, you know, you're going to be getting points for that and you're going to continue getting silver and silver and silver, you know. Yeah. So you'll be getting points points for that as well. You you could even have two get two friends and you just stay, if you're not even there, you can just have yourself logged on standing in front of Pike's base and while they clear it out every time and you'll get like 800 points. You know, right. Just by standing there and you don't have to be at the Xbox. Which, uh, might be, you know, an interesting way to boost that would be like, you know, you take, uh, get a buddy, you know, play for, let's say, six hours and you guys alternate every hour. You yeah. play, one Do person it. gets 800 and take one person shifts. gets, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. I mean, that would be an interesting way to boost that if, if, if you guys were in it, you know, if you really wanted that achievement, but you wanted to take breaks from it, you know. Yeah. You, could, you could probably do that, just watch TV or take a nap or something. But um, And we have a lot of friends, though, too, that still need those kills, on uh, those multiplayer kills uh, for the Gatling gun. And I got uh, two people requesting. Uh, Fair Power is one of yeah. them. So yeah. I, if you need to get your Gatling gun, yeah, if you need to get your Gatling gun or cannon, or cannon kills, you know, I don't. I mean, I don't mind getting up there and watching your back in the uh, the Mexican Ford up there because uh, usually you need you need more than one person because there's two entryways. And if you're manning the Gatling gun on one side, they're going to keep coming in behind you. So you know, 
if you need, I, I wouldn't mind uh, helping people that need that. You know, we get a group going there. Yeah. One guy on a cannon, one on two, one, uh, two guys, one on each Gatling gun in each door. And, you know, you can go at it until you get your achievement. Yeah. And, and make sure to choose the door by, or the Gatling gun by the door that's looking through a window. Because Ravioli got that one, and it's just like constant, constant. I just look over and like yeah. he's got like thirty dead horses just sitting there, and I've got like one guy dead. Well, and and yeah. right above that Gatling gun, there's a cannon to the top right. That's yeah. the cannon that I was sitting on. So that cannon was stealing a lot of those Gatling gun kills too. Yeah. Oh, and while you're doing that, you'll get all your um, outlaw uh, challenges, online challenges. It'll help you level up too. Because mm-hmm. the more you kill without dying, the more your bounty goes up, and you'll just start knocking out all those outlaw challenges and get bonus points for your level. So. Yeah. Well, and then instead of having the instead of having the Mexican cops kill you, have your buddy kill you so that he can claim all the experience for you being the public enemy. Right. Yeah. And it's not a lot of uh, not a lot of experience, but. Well, yeah, and there's a team for being public enemy and then for getting away 10 minutes, I believe. Yeah. yeah. The best way to do that, though, because, you know, it's easy to get public enemy in the Mexican fort. The best way I found, and I've helped many people get this achievement, is uh, the Blackwater. Right across the train station is a red brick building with two flights of ladders that go up. If you stand on the roof up there, just start, you know, sniping people in town. Just got to get your bounty up to $1,000. You'll become the public enemy. Has to be in a public ro- free roam. Then you just crouch down and you hide up there for 10 minutes and don't do nothing. Don't move. And it might be good if you have a partner to watch your back down below because sometimes in a public room you get yeah. some people that will, oh, let's go kill that guy. And, he'll just, and you can have somebody down there kind of protecting you. But you just got to hide for 10 minutes up there. It's really easy and it's a it's a good achievement, easy achievement. Yeah, and, and once you once you hide for 10 minutes, it doesn't matter whether you're like wanted, comes back or whatever, or if they see you because I know when I was trying to get it, um, there was a guy glitched inside of a building, so you know every time it'd go down, it'd come right back up, uh, no matter if I moved or whatever. No one could see me, but I think there's just a guy glitched in the building. Um, so it, it, once once you just sit there for ten minutes after you've got your bounty level up, um, then you just basically you know kill everybody around the building, jump on a horse, and just keep riding just away from that building until it. Until your achievement pops, so. Yeah. Well, I've had people just stay up there. They didn't just, and it popped them automatically. Yeah, but I think since there was a, since there was a guy glitch inside my building. Oh, because of yours, yeah. Just make sure you watch the time. You know, I just hit the guide yeah. button, look at the time real quick on the Xbox, and then I go, I went from there. Ten, I figured ten minutes. That way, if you're fifteen minutes in and it doesn't pop, then obviously something's going wrong. You know. Right. And you might have to, you know, grab your horse and go away. But as long as you've been wanted for ten minutes, you know, as long as you just get away, you'll you'll be fine. I was helping my brother with that. I know what happened. He kept running out of people to kill because nobody was around. So what I did, I started drawing. I started killing people, and it was okay that I died. But they started sending, you know, marshals after me right there in front of down on the street, and that way I was bringing him more, you know, more uh, cannon fodder to to kill. So right, yeah, it helps. Um. Is there any other insight we can we can give on this game? I mean, we've already given a lot of information. Well, there is a missable achievement. Um, yep. The horse one, where you keep mm-hmm. your same horse for 20 missions. And it doesn't start until, um, what's her name, Be- Becky, or what's her uh, Bonnie? Uh, Bo- yeah. Bonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie, she gives you that Mustang. Uh, it's And it, it, that's when it can start, because before, if you try to go for that 20 missions with the same horse before that, it's going to change because you get a new horse partway through the story. So do the Bonnie missions first. Get your Mustang and then try to keep that. Do not tie the horse up and do not get it killed for 20 missions. And that, other than that, that's the only achievement I believe is missable yeah. in the game. Yeah, the uh, I, I didn't even know that achievement existed and it popped. I was like, what's this? And uh, yeah, I never, I was just too lazy to hitch my horse or, you know, and it didn't die, thankfully. So. I'm I'm lucky that I got that achievement. But did you get that achievement, Elite Dog? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, trying to think the uh oh, I guess uh one quick thought on on the achievements too is that uh this is our second time recording the show because we had audio problems the first time, so it's kind of hard to remember okay, what did we say and what did we didn't say, but uh I think Elite Dog, you mentioned 
the uh, Bison Manifest Destiny achievement. You want to go oh, over yeah. that again? Yeah. Oh so, yeah, another one. Yeah. Yeah, up yeah. in the Great Plains, you'll get an achievement if you kill every single buffalo that is up there. And the thing about that is sometimes they're going to spawn right next to this river. And if you're going over there and shooting them, they're going to start running away from you. If you chase them and they fall into the river, the chances of them respawning are slim. So when you're killing them, don't chase them too far. Make sure that they're not running towards that river. And if they are, start turn around and run the other way so that you don't see them fall into the river or anything like that. So is it better, can you sneak around and get the river to your back, maybe? Can you go there and just have the river to your back and then chase them the other direction? Yeah, that would be that would yeah. be a good way to do it. That would be ideal. I, mine, when I got the achievement, I was worried about that, um, that mine, you know, one of them had fallen off because I know the cows were very susceptible to doing that as well when I was doing the herding missions. But oh, yeah. uh, the... Yeah, it was crazy. Like I was her- doing that herding mission, and like I stopped the herd, and then one cow just like <laughs> just runs right past my horse and just flies off the canyon. I'm like, wow, oh, you that's a are, bad cow. You are just ridiculous. So I was I actually very upset, and I was laughing because you just see this one cow just fly past this horse <laughs> and just jump straight off the cliff, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> Um, you but commit a suicide. Pretty much, I guess so. And so I returned with like 99 cows, or I can't remember, or whatever. One less than what I started with. I lost uh, three on that cliff, dude, so don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it was just funny because it, you know, it was like, oh, get in front of it quick. And so I did, and I was like, oh, cool, I got all of them. And then all of a sudden this cow just flies right past me. I'm like, <laughs> oh, great. Um, but the uh, I was worried that the buffalo had done that, and and when I killed, I, I I was able to find them, and they were just like right by. They're basically halfway between Beecher's Cove and Blackwater, and they were just chilling right by the road in in a pasture. And so I was like, okay, cool. So I went into Red Eye or Red Eye, Dead Eye with uh, with my Evans repeater and just you know lit both all you know all of them up with you know four or five bullets apiece and. Yeah. yeah, they seem to scatter. You kill a couple, they scatter, and I didn't chase them down. But yeah, they always I ended up, that, I ended they up go back to that same spot. Killing four or five, and then I'd come back every now and then and check. When I had the achievement pop, there was only two. I came across two random buffalo, killed them in the achievement pop. So right. not all that bad. Just make sure they're not running into that river. Yeah, stay away from the river. Because they evidently can't swim, just like uh, Mr. Jack Marston and... John Marston. Yep. So, anyways, um, uh, anybody else have uh, anything to say about the lovely Red Dead game? It's a great other game. Than, no. Other than that, it's a good game, and it'll take about 80, 90 hours to get your 1,000, uh, not including the DLC, because we don't know. Yeah. We can't give a good estimate on how much time it's going to take. Could and be. according to True Achievements, uh, the level 50 online, that, that one there, that seems to be the uh, the least common achievement people are getting on the game. That's a lot of boosting, man. It really is. Like, ugh. Yeah. I'm surprised I sat through it and did it because it got boring really quickly. Well, when I heard the DLC was coming out, I took a break from boosting because I knew the DLC. And you don't really rack up a lot of XP, though, on the DLC. I think I was getting like eight, 900 uh, points from a... Uh, finishing a co-op mission and that's if you finish it if you die halfway through forget it you're not going to get anything well and, kind of- but sometimes you'll get a consolation prize i've had them hand me out like i've gotten three quarters of the way through one of those levels and we all die and i got like 300 experience for a consolation prize so yeah huh. and it in those missions take about 15 20 minutes sometimes to finish oh yeah, yeah the know. river will yeah that's and you can knock out a gang hideout in four minutes and get over two thousand points. So right, gang hideouts are definitely the best way to go yeah. if you're looking for uh, and the most points. boring. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But are we, we going to talk them. about our? <clears throat> yeah, are we going to talk about our achievement of the week? Uh, absolutely. Uh, new another segment that we're uh, going to talk about that I promise will last longer than the one did at this Xbox Live. I uh, just ran out of stuff, but. Uh, it's back in full force and on a new show, so we should uh, should be around for a while. Uh, Rav, why don't you uh, introduce it? Okay, this is the uh, Moronic Cow and I got this achievement about two weeks ago. Um, 
it is a very uh, not many people have this achievement that played the game Hawks. It's from the game Hawks, the first one. Uh, and this achievement is called Sitting Ducks, and it is a boostable. You need at least three people. Um, the person going for the achievement needs to be on their own team by themselves and the other two on the opposite team. And basically, what are the two aircrafts that you want to use? Because the, in order to do this, you need to get one of the perks um, from uh, from uh, taking down uh, from, you know, taking down your opponents. You get different perks. There's everything from AWACS, solid radar jamming. But you want the EMP. Um, the icon of the EMP looks like a lightning bolt with an arrow tip. Kind of, but what are the two aircrafts? There's two aircrafts that are recommended. To well, get this. hold on. What is the achievement description? Oh, uh, you take down two fighters uh, with an EMP at the same time. You can take them out with the, uh, two missiles. Oh, okay. Yeah, that does sound hard. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, what you're looking for is is you're looking for the F-22 Raptor. Uh, which is one of the most advanced planes out there, or the can't remember what the letters are. It's like Y R seventy or something like that, but it's the Blackbird. Um, either one will net you the EMP more regularly than others, uh, but it's very crucial that the host, whoever's hosting it, um, has it on realistic settings. So, like one missile will uh, destroy your plane. And also, it's whoever's getting the or going for the achievement also has uh, multi AA missiles uh, selected. That way, you can lock on to the two people at the same time and launch the missiles that way. Yeah, the multi AA missiles. That's correct. Yeah. So, and then we found out too. Then we find out that the best way to get the MP also another way to in- increase your chances of getting it is if you're losing right. for a while. Yeah, well, like it, 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 take, it only makes about five or six times, you know. It, it only makes sense that the team that's losing, you know, once they get a kill, will get better upgrades to to help them get back into the game. So. Yeah, it seems like the EMP is an underdog, achie- kind of like an underdog achievement, because right. whenever you see people doing not so good, they get the they get the different, a little bit better uh, boosts, you know. Right. So have have your opponents kill you about six or seven times before you try to go for this uh, perk? Then you take them out. If you don't get it, waste whatever perk you got. Try a couple more. If you don't get that EMP, have them kill you some more. Just right. make sure they're ahead on the leaderboards. Yeah, you know? if they're, I think I got one when we were tied. But pretty much, if you're leading, you're only gonna get the uh, what I call garbage uh, perks like healing, uh, which don't get me started on that achievement, um, and other other quite frankly useless like upgraded guns and you know stronger missiles and stuff like that so uh, you want to make sure you're down by i would say to start off with you're down by at least seven or eight kills uh that will give you the best chance to get the emp and chances are uh we've got a couple people i think rav and myself got it just on the first kill uh once we were down like eight kills so Well, getting the EMP is half the battle, right there. Right, right. That's half the. That's the. That's one of the difficult parts. It, it's all. Sure. Make sure you, in the timer in your game too. Make sure it's the max set to max in the timer because sometimes it may take a while. Yeah, and it's all chance. I mean, you never know if you're going to get the EMP or not, or if the game's going to like you. Which normally for me it doesn't. Um, but once you get the EMP, you uh, have to make sure everything's perfect. You gotta. You gotta make sure your opponents. Are flying like as close as they can together, practically wingtip to wingtip. Uh, you want to make sure. What altitude up. should you be? Uh, I would they, say like four thousand, just because when you launch the EMP, uh, an EMP takes out all electrical, you know, systems. So uh, now an EMP is permanent, but in this game it's just temporary. So you basically go into a full nosedive stall, um, and and so you you want to make sure that. That you're basically about 4,000 feet up in the air. That way, um, your the planes don't crash before the missile hits them. And I mean, I think I was about 2,000 feet or meters or whatever away from the plane, uh, the enemy planes when I launched yeah. my missiles. Uh, the closer you can get, the better. It just depends on how you know how far away you are and if you're level with them. And, and basically. The rule of thumb is, is if you're about a thousand to a thousand five hundred to two thousand meters or feet away, uh, you launch the missiles and you wait like a second and launch the EMP. Because once you launch the EMP, it's going to take a second. 
uh, for it, it's going to be like, oh, EMP launched, and then about a half a second later, the EMP will actually activate, stalling the planes. And that's when you have about, I would say, three seconds or four seconds once the EMP has been activated and the planes are in a nosedive to uh, to hit to have your missiles hit the planes. So you got to just time it just right. Uh, but boy, is it satisfying when you actually unlock it. Yeah, get your buddies on the other team to fly, you know, close to each other. Yeah, ahead very of you. slow. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, just when you're ready, that I I waited. I went by a visual. I I shot. I was a distance away, and when I shot my my AA missiles, I kind of looked and gauged out the window by guessing, and then I hit the EMP. You know, right before I thought the rock the missiles would hit. You know, right. And I got it, and just you know, it was first try. Which apparently, according to True Achievement, that's a very uh, difficult achievement to get. Mm. So I'm glad I got it. Well, I haven't I haven't played this game, and I really I don't think I have an aircraft game on my profile. Would you recommend this game as like my first airplane game? You think I can handle it or what? Control well, I'm not into air, I'm not into aircraft games at all, but I I really enjoyed the Hawks game. I would recommend yeah. it because I I don't play these games. And this yeah. game now you can get for I mean ten dollars brand new on Amazon so yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong you know hmm. so no, it's it's definitely good to just host your single player games uh, there are some glitch achievements uh, starting as early yes. as uh, I think yes. about level seven or eight uh, and and even going up to Iron Arrow which is mission twelve out of eighteen I believe or that's 19. where mine glitched yep. Um, so just make sure you host your games. I mean, we can definitely help you out because uh, we do get a small bit of an experience, but we do get experience for, you know, killing people yeah. in the game and stuff like that. Uh, and working on challenges, of course, that will, that will help boost up our chi- our uh, level faster. But, yeah. uh, but I mean, th- this is probably the best flight sim for the console that I've played. I've played Ace Combat, which was garbage. Yeah. Um, so Hawks is good. And plus... Uh, I don't know. I, I think I've been sipping on too much cool, Hawks Kool Aid, but um, I might just buy Hawks too. It does look really good from the E3 footage that I saw, and like being able to land on carriers and night, turn night vision on, and you know play missions in the dark. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty cool game. Hopefully, I think on Facebook a while ago they're like. What what would you have you know what would you change in Hawks in to have in Hawks two? And I posted no glitch achievements. So as long as they don't have glitch single player achievements, uh, which caused my hatred and my hiatus playing that game, um, I'll be fine. So yeah, and while you're working on Sitting Ducks achievement, there are other achievements you can get. Why if you if you get you know you have if you get enough people in the room, those two to the people, there's other achievements you can work on with right. while you're trying to get the Sitting Ducks. So you know, it's an easy, easy way to get that achievement the way we described. Yep. Or probably the, probably the only way. I can't imagine anybody getting that just on uh, their own. Just in uh, multiplayer, yeah. That, oh, yeah, that, that would be that would be almost impossible. That's, that's why nobody's gotten it, is you specifically have to boost that achievement, because it's, uh, I would say probably out of everyone that's played that game, at max five people have done it before. Uh, you know, legit, I, I would say. I would say no more than five people. <laughs> Because it'd just be so ridiculous to even think about trying, you know, everything, the stars would have to align for you to get that without boosting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at least they made it boostable, so that's good. Yeah, it's pretty easy to boost that game. You can do private matches and stuff like that, so. Well, <clears throat> and True Achievements got it posted at about a 2 to 1 on the gamer score. It's, if you get all 1,000 points in it, it's going to be worth 2,414 on True Achievements, so I think that's, my selling point right there that'll make me pick it up yeah and it's it's still you know a good game just host host your game host your campaign and you'll have no problems yeah cool and just play it before hawks 2 comes out because i'm sure pretty much everyone that's playing hawks right now is probably gonna jump ship once it comes out yeah yeah there's still you can still find people online playing hawks that's good yeah four on four dog fights are pretty fun yeah so or we can do our friends list we do have a friends list, which is uh, pretty crazy considering we haven't even launched the <laughs> first episode yet. We've already got a fan. Um, Elite, Elite Dog, why don't you take our uh, first ever Achievement sure. Hounds friends list uh, question. All right. Yeah, so let me, let me break the wine bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what we got on the list is Pyromaniac. 
sent us a question, and he asked, what is the hardest achievement you've obtained? Hmm. Pat, yeah. you go first. You go elite, elite, why don't you go first? All right, um, I'll go first. Why don't we name the, uh, according, if you've got one in mind, go ahead, but why don't you name your top five off of TA? All right. Let me pull it up. Because uh, I, I can't. There, there's a lot of achievements. Well, and and now it's are we going for most points or are uh, we going for I'm saying ratio? Ratio, ratio what, yeah. What, I say what go by TA ratio. would say would be the hardest you've got. And if you got any other additions, all right. So can, uh, on here we got number one is somebody stopped me on blur. The ratio is seven point four six. I explained it earlier. It's just uh, getting. Uh, all the primary lights on hard on blur. Basically, it's fairly easy. The races are pretty easy. It's just more of the checkpoints and the destructions that are the hard part. And the, so it really wasn't that hard of an achievement to get. It was time consuming. It was basically okay. remembering where these little clocks are on the checkpoint, and you had to have you driving down to a T in order to get a gold. Okay. It's kind of difficult. 91 people got it, and the game's been out for a couple months now, so it's kind of kind of rough. Okay. But uh, next one on the list is Ball Madness from Pinball FX, and honestly, I don't even remember getting this achievement. Uh, Pinball, it's an arcade game. Activate the Frenzy Mode on Buccaneer to complete Ball Madness. So yeah, that one just popped naturally. Um, number three is Blur, Drop the Hammer, another hard one or whatever. Ghostbusters Employee of the Month, that was that glitched achievement, so I got yep. it, and obviously everybody else didn't get it. <laughs> and Taking It for the Team, Grand Theft Auto 4, number five, oh. be on the winning team in all ranked multiplayer team games. Hmm. Honestly, none of those were really that difficult. I would say that my hardest achievement that I got would be, and it's really hard to put it down on just one achievement, and since you got to do certain things, like we could break this down into the longest achievement, because I've had times where the achievement wasn't necessarily hard, it was just extremely time-consuming, therefore making it hard, or just really hard in general. I'm leaning towards a game called Sacred 2, it's an open-world RPG. And not just one achievement, it's three achievements. And the achievements are beat the game without buying anything, beat the campaign without buying anything. That's one achievement. Beat the game without um, without dying, and then beat the game without uncovering 20% of the map. I did all three of those achievements on one playthrough with a lot of help from my online people too. And uh, combine all those three achievements and try and do them in one playthrough, and that makes for a difficult game. Hmm. But, yeah. All right. Uh, Kyle? Veronica, Kyle? Did mute, we lose mute, him? Mute, Rob. Mute. Oh. Um, the uh, number one for me is, like I mentioned earlier, which is Veteran, uh, complete 200 Fragile Alliance sessions in Kane and Lynch. Um, that achievement wasn't necessarily hard, but just frustrating beyond all belief going for other achievements. I know, and, I helped uh, you with that. Yeah, and, and pretty much playing 200 sessions, the, the thing is, is that each session has three rounds to it. So, it, it just, it took forever. Uh, that's why it's worth 222 points on TA and it's only 35 gamer score. Um, so uh, believe me, I was glad that that one popped, but I still have a lot of achievements to go that are ridiculous in that game. Um, uh, number two was, this is kind of surprising. Uh, my blisters have blisters from game room. Uh, it's play one, a game for one hour continuously. And, uh, that's, <laughs> Uh, you, you guys can imagine. Did what you I just leave now. it on and walk away or something? Uh, yes, there is a game that you can do that with. Uh, it's uh, Atari Tennis, and I just rubber banded my controller uh, to move to just the left. The problem was is that the game froze, and so basically what I do is, you know, I, I download a game room for fun, got some, bought some arcades to get some achievements, 
And uh, I heard Atari was easy to boost the hours. And so what I do is before I go to bed, I just you know, rubber band my controller and uh, leave my Xbox on, go to bed, wake up, and see where I'm at. Because I think it, there's like uh, five achievements for playing, you know, five hours in your arcade, ten hours in your arcade, thirty hours. So I figured I'd just leave it on a couple nights, get those achievements, and bam, I was done. Well, huh. you know, I'd wake up every morning and it would be glitch, or it would, uh, n- you know, I'd check my TA before even uh, going going to my Xbox, and nothing came up, and I was like, "You've got to be kidding me!" So I look at my Xbox, and my Atari guy is just frozen. And my Xbox locked up. So, you know, I was like, hmm, I wonder if it's my Xbox or whatever. So I do it again, and I guess it stayed on for an hour because I popped my – the my blisters have blisters achievement. Because um, what uh, – basically what you have to do to get credit for your hours is uh, before the game freezes, you've got to post that. So you've got to, uh, like, exit the game, and it will, you know, give you a medal for – playing how many hours so if your game freezes on the sixth hour uh you don't you lose all that time so that was kind of stupid mm-hmm. uh, i got mr play it straight which is win 50 rounds of fragile alliance as a merc and uh, this achievement let me tell you is is ridiculous i don't even want to uh i don't even want to talk about this game really all that much it, just trust me it doesn't sound that hard but there's a lot of factors that go into it and i was really happy with that popped um i got you see a pattern here most wanted from kane and lynch uh, escape with 150 million from fragile alliance heist uh, that game that was ridiculous because you'd only get like a million max per per round i think or per session or something like that. So it was basically 150 sessions to get uh, to get the money, and you know sometimes people would kill you, and you lose all your money, and it, it was just it was bad. So and then number five is Hawks sitting ducks. So um, gosh, I can't really think of anything that was super difficult um, that that's on this list. I guess. The getting all expert on Left 4 Dead 2, um, that even though you could do that little uh, glitch with the with playing, you know, the finale on expert or switching it right to it, it was still tough, and I still really loved when that achievement unlocked. So I would say those would be mine. All right. Well, actually, you got you sound like you got uh, you must have higher. Harder or harder achievements than I do because Sitting Ducks is my number one. Um, of course, we already talked about that. I'm just a better gamer than you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how to cheat very well. <laughs> uh, my number I, two is Working the Land on Red Faction. Uh, I mined all 300 ore locations on Mars. Uh, all you need is a map. It really wasn't that hard. Uh, number three, the cleaner from the Kane and Lynch game. I got 30 personal revenge kills, and you and you helped me with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kana Lynch is on here a lot on the upper yeah. on the high, high end. <laughs> it's uh, not by points. Yeah, number four is also a Kane and Lynch game. Uh, 50 to 1, win 50 rounds of Fragile Alliance. Um, and my, la- my number five is How the West Was Won, which is the Red Dead reached the top rank for multiplayer experience, which I just got, I just attained about three days ago. So, but those were, you know, those were time consuming. But I, if I, I would have to say the hardest achievement, it actually turned into a family affair. <laughs> Um, the 100 Pigeons on GTA 4, uh, I got down to 99. There was no more. I found out that I killed a pigeon during a mission, which if you kill this pigeon during, I think it was during the bank mission, it doesn't actually count toward your pigeon count. And then when you're done with the mission and you go back to free roam, the pigeon is gone, never to be seen again. So you are stuck with one less pigeon. Um, I got frustrated. Well, my wife was just, you know, my wife just plays Nintendo games. She got really into the GTA 4 game. She really liked it. So she started playing. She wanted to help me with the pigeons. So she had all these maps and, you know, and so I'd get some pigeons. She'd help me get some pigeons and we got all 100 pigeons finally with her help. And nice. then she started the, she started, she goes, I want to have my own save, my own game. She played it again and we went for the 100 pigeons again. So wow. I went for 100 pigeons three times. So that was probably the hardest achievement. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about that achievement. You got glitched on that too, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Well, and after I get this Peggle Professor, that'll be the number one on the hardest achievement for me. When I get it. <laughs> when or if? Uh, when I get it. <laughs> if you get it? Listen, I'm not saying I'm going to get it quick. Work in progress. Yeah, I hear you. Cool. Um, well, is that... I, I think that's it, guys. Yeah. First episode in the books. Shouldn't have any audio problems. Hopefully this will get heard by the world. Yeah. Or at least oh. by this Xbox Live uh, community. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, do, does anybody have anything else to add about anything? Uh, I think. Uh, I do want to say, though, um, somebody was asking on our, on our forums if we were going to have Gamer of the Month, but we're going to have something similar to that. We just don't want to unveil it yet. We want to yeah. get up and run in first, and then we'll have special. Hopefully, as if everything goes as planned, we'll have special uh, uh, guests. I yeah. guess. With I am going to try to get um, Bill Gates on yep. the show. Yeah, I'm going to try. And, I'm going to try. And Warren, I mean, he's be on it, but. Warren Buffett is also going to be funding the show as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we'll have. I guess you say some type of low, lower celebrity classes right that be well some? well yeah in oh, the public inviting. eye it's lower celebrity in our eye there's some high yeah your grandma's not going to know who these yeah. people are yeah. but uh achievement people will i guess you can say cool all right well then in closing you can contact us we created a new email it's at achievements at this xbox life.com you can email us questions comments suggestions anything like that or you can visit our site it's www.achievementhounds.com now does achievementhounds.com also take you to the xbox life.com forums doesn't it doesn't um know? if you you have to to get to the forums it'll be forums dot this xbox life.com uh we basically we bought a domain for achievement hounds but achievementhounds.com just forwards to achievements.thisxboxlife.com so we just thought it was easier because it was our podcast name to to grab that domain so you you to get to our forums you can go to our website uh, achievementhounds.com or achievements.thisxboxlife.com click on forums at the top under our name and you and you get to the forums um, but if you want a direct link it's forums.thisxboxlife.com and then if you go to our, our website, you can also send us a talk box. Um, you, that's just a way to get your voice on the show. If you, if you don't, if we butcher your gamer tag or something like that, you know, set the, set the record straight. Tell us how to pronounce your gamer tag <laughs> via, uh, talk box. Can send video as well, but, uh, it's an audio only show, so. Yeah, we don't want to see you naked. Yeah, please. Ooh, I've, I've already seen rap enough. <laughs> Uh, when he's been sending stuff to this Xbox Live, so. Um, but, uh, I think we'll probably put up a TA leaderboard. Uh, yeah. maybe a gamer card, so, uh, we'll, we'll let you guys know of that, uh, and then. Well, they can join this Xbox Live leaderboard if they want. We have one. For yeah, they Xbox can, Live. yeah, join both. I don't yeah. see the harm in that, so. Yeah. See how you rank in the Achievement Hound world, and, uh, I think that's that's pretty much it. Bear with us as we kind of get our our bearings and and get the show up on up on the you know up on the interwebs, and uh, we'll be bringing you news through this Xbox Life and then achievement news specifically at uh, achievements achievement house. So cool. All right then. Well, this is Eric. I go by Elite E Dog four twenty on the Xbox. You can just call me Elite. And I'm off to go finish Darkest of Days. My name is Franco, Gamertag Ravioli Caponi. And if you're a Mass Effect fan, this is my favorite podcast on the Citadel. <laughs> and this is Kyle, a.k.a. Moronic Cow, bringing up the rear. Uh, you'll get <coughs> from, uh, <laughs> from, wow, from this Xbox Live. Um, and I am playing some soccer right now but i'm probably gonna hit the uh hit the hay here pretty soon so catch you guys later hope you enjoyed it and let us know how we did peace ciao bye